What's up everyone and welcome to my new video. This time around, I have made a cardboard RCF22 Raptor which flies using a battery, ESC and a BLDC motor which has a maximum speed of 120 km per hour and can be airborne for up to 10 minutes. Make sure to watch till end because there are some amazing shots that I have taken and you will love it. In this F22 Raptor, I have used an external gyro. This gyro is provided by Radiolink and I have bought it from Robo. I've used a gyro because as you know, F22 Raptor is a very unstable plane. Even the models that are flown in the air are very unstable. And this being a heavy cardboard plane might just be a little stable but I still didn't want to risk everything because I have already faced some failures. You will see the failure at the end of the video. Make sure to buy a gyro, otherwise you might not be able to fly it for the first time. This is not mandatory, but if you are very good in flying skills, then you can skip it. For the motors, I have used a Shingy Pro 2207-2750kb BLDC motor. This motor might come very costly if you are a beginner, but believe me this motor will provide unbelievable thrust. You can also use a golden BLDC motor, but the minimum I would recommend is the red bottom ones which are available at Robu for approximately 600 to 700 rupees. After making the canopy and everything, now it's time to attach the ESC. I've used a ready to sky 40 ampere ESC because this motor demands very high current and I've created a hole in the canopy to provide the connector access to the battery. You can see here I've also used a heatsink for my ESC. This is 
because I want my EC to last long while I fly for long hours and at high speeds. The ESC is specifically shifted to the left or right of the plane where there are the internal holes from where the airflow will be there so that the ESC will get cooling. gets channel number 1 of the gyro and the PPM and S bus signal is entered into the input port of the channel. Now the motor has been connected and it's time to close off the engine part. Now I have used a 2200mAh 40C battery which is the reason this plane is able to give 10 minutes of continuous flying. Here in the canopy, I have attached some neodymium magnets for securing it while it's airborne. For the servo push rods, you can use a bicycle spoke that is easily available in the cycle stores near you. I have used some servo control horns instead of the control horns that are printed to be in 3D printer because those are costly. Now the servo needs to be installed and you have to do this for both sides. I didn't record the second side because the camera was misbehaving a bit and you can manage that. The servos go on channel 2 and 3 
and make sure you do not have any mixing enabled on your transmitter because the gyro will do mixing by itself. The gyro only works on delta wing configuration planes such as the Sukhoi F22 or other delta wings. It does not have any place for rudder. Now connect the servo control horns with the push rods and we are ready to fly. Make sure to like and share this video, comment down your thoughts and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. Signing out.